Why does it back always work? Hey everyone, Leo Noten to him here for askleo.com. If you're not signed up for my newsletter, Confident Computing, head out to newsletter.askleo.com and sign up today. Tips, tricks, and answers like this one in your inbox every Tuesday. Here's today's question. Why is it on some web pages I can go back to previous web pages as fast as I can click the mouse? On others, I have to click back three or four times, single or double click, and wait sometimes 15 seconds. Yeah, I feel your pain. Um, this is a website issue. It's not something that is necessarily in your control, although I'll show you a great workaround when this happens. The issue is that some websites explicitly code their back button so that you can't back. Others by virtue of how they've designed the site, this kind of behavior in the back button is almost an accidental after effect. The scenario it, you see most often is simply this. You want to go from page A to page B. Normally, you're on page A, you click a link to page B, and you go there. Normally. Sometimes, what you don't see is that when you click that link on page A, it actually goes to page Z. Z then automatically sends you to page B. You ended up where you wanted to be, you just didn't see that there was this interstitial step that happened between the two. The problem is that if that interstitial step is coded, I'll say incorrectly or at least inefficiently, it shows up in your history. What that means is that when you hit back, you're not going to page A, you're not backing up to page A, you're backing up to page Z which once again automatically says my job is to take you to page B, back to where you started, without that back actually looking like it worked. Here's an interesting workaround. So here we are in Microsoft Edge. I just happen to have archive.org up. I don't have an example of a site that actually does the bad kind of backing up. But let's assume that I hit back and it just brought me back to this page. That's the scenario that we are trying to fight with here. Instead of hitting back, right click on the back button, and you'll see now that you have a list of places you can go back to. When you hit the back button, all that really does is take you back to the first thing on this list. If that's not really where you want to go, well, just click on one of the other ones and you can go there. It really is that simple. And what's interesting is that once you've clicked back, if you went back too far, you'll notice we now have a forward button. You can right click on that too and choose which of the pages that you maybe skipped over you might want to go to instead, or go all the way back to where you were at the end of this chain, at the end of your history. But that's the simple, easy way to quickly bypass all of these kind of bizarre back behaviors that we do see from time to time. Yeah, I get it's annoying, and honestly, it should, quote unquote, should never happen, but it does. Now you've got a tool to work around it. Hope it helps. For updates, for comments, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com 2842. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is AskLeo.com. Thanks for watching.